Hey guys, what's going on? Tua Cruz here checking in with Dundas. And today we're going for our first bike ride exploring Singapore. Yeah. So we just actually picked up our bikes from Mobot in our last video. We just did a shop tour, so make sure to go check that video out if you haven't watched it yet. And during our time here in Singapore, we're going to be borrowing these folding bikes and riding every day, exploring this awesome island country and just excited to explore all these bike paths. You can see right now we're on this sidewalk here. This is kind of a mixed use path so you can ride your bikes here, you can walk here and just really excited to see all of the infrastructure they have here for pedestrians, for cyclists. And so we're over here on the west side of Singapore near I believe it's Jurong Lake and there's a garden over here so we're gonna go head over that direction, explore it a bit. Oh, they do have beeps here in Singapore, so they do honk their horns uh, in anger. That guy's speeding off, but that's okay. That's the first time that's happened here. And we're going to go ahead and get started with today's ride. Let's go. Let's go. So a quick little view of our setup. Tun Chan, we're both using the same Mobot Royal that we have back in Vietnam, but we're using some rentals while we're here. And we've got a cool little bag here in the front to carry all of our extra accessories a cool little bottle cage here in the front to carry our drinks and we got this cool little bling bling mounting rack and we're using our phones which is awesome we can just get around a lot easier because we don't know the roads here so uh, i've got my my map on here to get us over to the garden so hopefully we don't get lost but let's go ahead and get started this is my bike by the way so i've got the blue version they're pretty much the same bike but mine has the internal hub but tunes has the external gear so she's got a 10 speed this is one of the new models that they have all right it goes eh so here we go we're starting our ride the bike shop was actually just right behind us there's a shopping mall over there and it's been really cool we've seen a lot of people on bikes it actually really reminds us a lot of the infrastructure in japan just with all the people walking all the people like cycling and just seeing all the bikes parked everywhere so here's a bunch of bikes parked I'm not sure if this is an actual like designated parking area or not. But anyway, it is a welcome sight for me to see all these bikes here. And yeah, these aren't like super fast, like designed kind of cycling paths. You want to go nice and slow, especially when pedestrians are nearby. But just loving all the infrastructure. This is one of the things I'm most excited about during our trip here is just to experience this infrastructure, the different city design, the way things are done here. And we'll also be cycling on some of the main roads as well. We're going to be doing a lot of rides here. And I think we're also going to be renting some of the Mobot road bikes on one of the days so we can do a full ride around the island. That's one of our big things on our to-do list. So definitely want to do that. And everything, all the stars seem to be aligning and everything's turning out to be okay for this trip in terms of logistics. So yeah, couldn't ask for, do we need to turn there? Let's just keep going straight. <laughs> I think we're okay. Maybe not. Okay, there's no crossing here. We need to go, we need to go back. That's okay. We'll cross here. Let's be careful. There's some cars coming. Oh wow, they actually stopped for us. That is so cool. That would never happen in Vietnam. <laughs> And yeah, just keep going straight here. They've got these buttons here, so I think you gotta press these. Okay. Green, go. Check that out, double decker. I think Tuan wants to go on one of those like double decker sightseeing buses. All right, that guy didn't wait. That's okay. No problem. So I think we're going over or under some of the, the train lines. So the train lines are over us right now. That's really cool. I like when they do this kind of design because 
if you look above, you can see that we've kind of got a roof. So if it is raining, you get a little protection from the rain. You also get some extra protection from the, the sunlight. And another thing I love about a lot of Asian cities is they have those like workout parks. So you can get some exercise done. Oh, we got some up and down. So in terms of our plans here in Singapore, we, we don't really have dedicated plans. Uh, my main goal is just to experience life here like a normal person here. So if you're riding around like on just some random roads, like we didn't research this road or anything. We just looked at the directions to get to the nearest park from the mall and this road is available. Like how awesome is this? We've got a park here. We've got pull-up bars. We've got a basketball court. We've got a children's playground. Like everything here is just awesome. And these are, I think they're called the mobility scooters or something like that. They had some of those over at Mobot. They actually sell them. So before Mobot got into folding bikes, they were into other things like e-bikes, e-scooters, and mobility scooters like that. Chun Chan looking good as always. She's really excited to explore by bicycle. I think in the last few weeks, especially she's fallen more in love with cycling than ever before, which is uh, very welcome for me. But yeah. I really miss like this kind of just infrastructure, having this nice safe place to, to ride a bike between wherever. If you're going from your apartment to the shopping mall, to the grocery store, to the park, just having this nice safe, like separate place to ride. It's just so nice. I haven't been paying attention to the <laughs> directions at all, but uh, I think we're okay. It's telling me to turn here. So actually the directions, I didn't know exactly where we need to go for the park. so. I just uh, plugged in a random nearby place, so I think this is the park right here. We can just enter. I think we should be okay. That's awesome. They got cycling signs, cycle the greener way for a day out. Couldn't agree more. And the weather here, honestly, is not that bad. Like it's 31 degrees Celsius, which is the, not bad. Like it's been way hotter over in Vietnam in Da Nang for the last few weeks. So perfectly fine riding in this temperature. And here we are. I think this is the, the lake path. So I don't need Google Maps anymore. I'm going to turn that off just to save some battery life. And we got Strava going on here. So we'll have all of our rides uploaded on Strava as usual. So if you're interested in following along, you can check those out. But look at this beautiful open green park here. So I think in here, there's the, the whole garden park. They have a like Japanese botanical garden. I think it's under construction right now. We're not sure, but yeah, we're just gonna cycle around this path and check this place out before we start heading back into the city. And we got the separation here, which is always good to separate the, the walking path from the biking path. Makes it safer and more enjoyable for everyone. And yeah, there's the train. How cool is that? Really liking the vibe. Oh no. <laughs> Do we go here? But I think we just go here. All this nice shade cover too. It looks like they have a few like rental bike programs around the, the city as well. And oh, I think I hit the curb. Let's go bike over here. Yep. Okay. I think there's a horn installed on this bike too. I don't want to just beep it randomly. There goes the train again. Ah, loving it. Jeez. Beautiful. Let's get away from some people so I can test the horn. <laughs> Is this it? <laughs> That'll be convenient, I'm sure. I don't think it's illegal to use your horn here, like in Japan. And more people on the folding bikes. Oh. Let's check this out real quick. I think we can go inside. 
I don't see any signs that say no bikes. Pedestrians, this way. Slow down, sharp turn. Give way to pedestrians, shared track. Okay. I think we're good. Look at this. All this green, the tall rise buildings. And I still don't know very much about Singapore, but our, our host from Mobat, when we were driving over, he was telling me a lot of these buildings, the apartment buildings are like built by the government and they're subsidized. So like you can, everyone can afford a place to live. They eventually buy it from them or I'm not sure if it's exactly like a, a lease of some sorts where you rent it. A lot of places in Asia, they don't allow you to like own your own property yourself. You rent it from the government for a certain amount of time. But in any case, they have some like government subsidized housing that people can buy so that the like free market prices just don't get crazy out of control. And it seems like the government here does a really good job of like organizing, creating these kinds of like green spaces. Like they have certain quotas of trying to create a certain amount of green spaces in every neighborhood. And there's all these park connectors, like these paths that connect all the parks. So you can basically get anywhere by like bike path around the, the island, I think. So I'm really excited to just test this all out. I don't even care like where we end up. <laughs> I'm just excited to like be on this kind of nice infrastructure again. It's been a long time since we've been able to just like enjoy riding without having to worry about like cars and everything. I think we're kind of looping back <laughs> a little bit from where we came. And so I guess, yeah, this is under construction. Maybe this is usually open. I'm not sure. But I think we should be able to start getting some nicer views inside the, the lake garden area, hopefully. Let's get Tunshan's thoughts. No. Make some quick little adjustments on the bike. So we just started riding these. We haven't fine tuned our position yet, but what do you think so far? Oh, good. Sushi. In English. Uh, a bike path. Bike path? Yes, it's so beautiful, clean. Clean. And a lot of chi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm feel good. Relax. Relax, yes, relax. Yes, cool. Cool. Yeah, yes. all the shade, all this green. No noisy sound. No noisy sound. Yeah, no beep beep. No beep beep. Yes. And look at this, you can just relax. Maybe have a picnic yeah. on the grass. How cool is this? Okay, let's continue. Check out our new kickstands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we like these new upgraded Royals. These are pretty cool. We don't need the kickstand, <laughs> but we're enjoying it. And I'm also enjoying these nice, like wider grips. We can of course upgrade these on our own bike. We just haven't gone through the effort yet but yeah these nice flat grips are really comfortable there we go looks like we're starting to see part of the lake here and yeah i think we're just going to do a full loop here check this out and then try and figure our way back towards a hotel so the person from mobot he helped pick us up from our hotel drove us over to their their showroom so we took the highway over and even the highway it was really impressive just seeing all the the greenery and the tree canopies lined up on both sides and yeah really good organized infrastructure here they have to be organized just because it's a it's a small country with limited space and a lot of people let's take a quick look here so uh yeah the northern strip of lakeside garden and chinese and japanese garden in red are closed for development unfortunately but here's the whole map here so you are here this is the the park connector Okay, so that's what we're on now. We're on the cycling path and okay, it doesn't look like it goes all the way around the, the lake. If we want to go to the garden, I think we got to go back here, unfortunately. Ah, we just did a whole loop. We came from over here. Okay, I think we're going to do a little time skip here. We're going to ride back to this area and check out the other part of the garden before coming back this way. We're over here already. We don't want to miss it. So yeah, let's go over that way. All right, guys, we made our way back in the correct direction. We arrived at Jurong Lake Gardens. And unfortunately, in the north side and the east side, where we just were, there's a bit of construction. So you can't see the Japanese garden or Chinese garden. But hopefully they'll finish that construction here pretty soon. And yeah, loving these park connector paths. But 
I think we need to get off and go check out this way. So I'm not going to eat the meter. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go this way. Yeah, there comes a the cyclist, so we should be okay to go inside. Loving the shade, loving the cool breeze. Here's the lake. Not too big. Some speed bumps. And we've got some more of the, the city bicycle rentals here. So yeah, I imagine those must be pretty easy to rent and use. So pretty good option. Really relaxing back here. And you can see some of the construction off in the distance over there. Oh, there's a little electric bus. Maybe there's another viewpoint up here we can go check out. Sun is starting to come out. It was a bit cloudy earlier this morning. We're actually really lucky because right now in Da Nang, a typhoon, one of the biggest typhoons in years is hitting right now. So all the flights apparently got canceled today. So we're really lucky. We flew in yesterday and our flight wasn't canceled. Okay, here we go. This I think must be Chinese garden. Unfortunately under construction, but you can see some of the more historical structures over here. And oh, it looks like they have a drinking fountain over there so you can get some water. I imagine they have a restroom as well and this cool bridge that probably can't walk across right now. But luckily we got the, the view from up here. And it's cool, all the signs here you can see are written in different languages. So they got English, Chinese, I'm not sure the other two languages. I imagine one of them must be Malaysian. It's cool to see a lot of people out on folding bikes. Toon Chan wanted to ride down this, breaking the rules. It's pretty nice, we're enjoying this on the weekday. So I imagine this place is a little bit busier, certain times of the week, certain times of the day. Uh, Force Rumble, we got to walk through there, so let's stick with the places that we can ride. Safe track. Cyclists are encouraged to use this path. Okay, let's give it a try. Slow. Slow. Oh, that's cool. They've also got some rollerblading. Can't remember the last time I've seen like people rollerblading before coming here to Singapore. And yesterday in the airport, we saw two people, the airport mall, we saw two people roller skating through the mall and we saw some, these guys rollerblading here. So I don't think Twin Chun's ever gone roller skating. You have to go to We're going to have to try and find some rental skates so she can give it a try. I like roller skating. I think it's a lot of fun. Unfortunately, there's not many like places you can do it over in Asia, but it seems to be a thing in Singapore. Look at all these trees, all this grass, all the shade, all the speed bumps. <laughs> nice relaxing place to go. So just finishing up our roll around the park here and came across this nice little rest area and check this out. We got some outside ping pong table tennis. That's something I really loved doing like when I was younger in my university days, I always loved playing and it's cool seeing these kind of like outdoor places. Unfortunately, they don't have anything like that I've seen in Vietnam. Yeah, soccer and volleyball. And um, looks like I got a little workout area here. So you can get a nice little workout in. And we got the rest station here, some vending machines. We can get some drinks and oh wow, they got a pool as well. Really cool facility here. And I imagine the pool must be really nice on a hot summer's day. Looks like they got some lockers and yeah, restroom. We're going to take a little quick break here. So uh, loving that kickstand. Actually, that's really convenient. Let's check out the vending machines. Let's see what we got. So we've got some of the hundred plus here. I believe this is a Thai brand. We saw that a lot in Thailand when we were there. A bunch of those <laughs> different, some varieties, some water, some iced teas, some high protein milk. Oh, wow. That's cool to see in the vending machine. I love my milk and 25 grams of protein drink. And 
What are these? Are these paid by credit card? Yeah, I love it. You can pay by credit card for like everything here, even the, the subway. We could just, we didn't need to buy a ticket. We could just use the credit card. So very cool. We're probably gonna get one of these sports drinks and let's take a quick look over here at the pool. This is pretty nifty. Check this out. How cool is that? I thought that was a real person for a second. <laughs> so I guess you gotta get your ticket. You can go on in over here. Very cool. And yeah, just a nice little shady area here. You can relax, escape the sunlight. And yeah, lots of people on folding bikes everywhere. We look, we see people on folding bikes and it looks like they also separate the, the garbage here, which is another welcome thing to see. They do this in Japan too, of course, but they do it a little bit in Thailand, but they don't do it in Vietnam. So paper, plastic, cans, and others. Very nice. They also have a few more vending machines over here by the restroom, I noticed, and check some of these out. They got some of the, the powder for Pokari Sweat, so you can just mix that with regular water. And yeah, Pokari Sweat's one of our favorite sports drinks, and they got some towels here. So a bunch of different things, even a charging cable, band-aid, some different cool things, some other snacks here. They got some Pocky, some m and some chocolate, some Mentos, some chips, a bunch of different options. Power Pack. It's cool to say that they have the more healthy, like sports-oriented, snacks as well. So not just the like random junk food, chips kind of stuff. Very cool. Chun chan has been searching the, the road for the ride home. Hokano Jiro Hanbaiki mita? No. They got some poki. Whoa. Whoa. Some snacks. Some snacks. Do you miss the vending machines? Yeah. They got some pokari sweat, some towels. Oh. We actually made a big mistake. We didn't pack our towels and apparently our capsule hotel I don't think they have oh. towels, so we gotta buy a towel today somewhere. Tonight. Bendy. Yeah. There you go, what? Convenient. 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 Uh, convenient. 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 No. <gasps> All right, guys, I think this video is getting a little bit longer. We've been filming for quite a while, so. I don't want to have these videos be too long because then it's too long for people to watch and see all the exciting stuff. So I think we're going to finish up this video here and on our ride back, we're probably going to continue to start some other new videos. We're going to go check out some of the food markets. So we'll probably make that a separate video and we'll be making a full playlist for all of our adventures here in Singapore, all of our videos. So make sure you're subscribed if you want to see more content of us here traveling in Singapore. We're also going to be visiting some more bike shops and yeah, we're going to be renting some road bikes from Mobot in one of the upcoming days. We're going to be doing a full ride around the entire country, the entire island. So Tung Chan's really excited for that. We're also going to be doing some more rides locally on some of the more nearby paths on the folding bikes. We can also bring these on the trains, which is really nice. So we're probably going to do some more adventures like that. And yeah, big thank you again to Mobot for helping support us, letting us use these awesome rental bikes during our trip. So a big thank you as always to all of our awesome supporters over on Patreon. Thanks to your guys' support, we're able to continue filming more videos like this. So a big thank you to all of you, and we'll see you next time here on Tubal Cruise. Bye-bye.